Hi! Have you ever thought about how reading a text is like being a detective? Maybe you don't always realize that you are doing it, but, while you are reading, your brain works hard, to find clues in the text that help it to read it correctly, and, in that way, understand what you are reading. Let's look at what we can do to find those clues. When you are reading a text, and come across a word you don't recognize, break it down into its syllables. That will help you to read a word correctly. Here are some ways to break words into syllables. Compound words, that is, two words that are put together to form a new word, can be broken down into the words they consist of. For example, bedroom, can be broken down into bed, and room. This tells us that the word means a room where we have our bed. Afternoon, can be broken down into after, and noon, which tells us that, afternoon means the time that comes after noon. Words that contain prefixes and suffixes, contain lots of clues. Break them down into their prefix, or suffix, and the rest of the word. For example, submarine, consists of the prefix sub, which means under, and the word marine, which means something that is of the sea. So, submarine means, something that is under the sea. Spoonful, consists of the word spoon, and the suffix full, which means, as much as the word before will hold. So, spoonful is the quantity that a spoon will hold. If you come across a word that contains the pattern, vowel, consonant, vowel, divided into syllables, by separating the first vowel from the following letters, like this, acorn, would be divided as, a, corn. But what if you do that, and it sounds wrong, or it doesn't make sense? Then, divide the word after the consonant. For example, planet, would be divided as, plan, et. Sometimes, words follow another pattern. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. In that case, divide the word after the first consonant. For instance, basket would be divided as, basket. Garden, would be divided as, gar, din. Last but not least, there are words that end in a consonant followed by la. Words like maple, and candle. To break these words into syllables, divide them right before the consonant that is followed by la. So, may, pull, and candle. To summarize, divide compound words into their parts. Words containing prefixes or suffixes, should be divided into the prefix or suffix, and the rest of the word. The pattern vowel, consonant, vowel, tells us that the word should probably be divided between the first vowel, and the consonant that follows it. But there are exceptions. If the pattern is vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, divide it between the two consonants. And, if a word ends in a consonant in la, it should be divided right before the consonant. If you keep these rules in mind, you will find it easier to read texts, and break multisyllabic words into their syllables. Have fun!